everyone, welcome to the Club 1015, the most exclusive club you can join. Right now, take a shiny marker and write it right under your arm, and you can join today! No. Hey guys, Eric here, and today we're going to be talking about game consoles, and the reason why we love them, maybe some games behind, we're not going to go too deep because I don't want a 50 minute video, but we're going to talk about what we love. Now, today I'm joining me is Michelle, say hi Michelle. Hey guys! And uh, today... Michelle's at a disadvantage. I am a, a little bit older than Michelle, and she started a little bit later in the gaming systems, but we're going to talk about game consoles to start from a couple generations back, so start with like Atari-ish, talk about our favorite games on it, favorite system of the genre, and we'll work our way up and see where we end up. Yay. So, And me and Michelle, surprisingly, actually have different tastes for what we actually love in game and console and gaming setups, so we'll see how that, uh, that ends up going. So, let's start with the Atari and television, that type of deal. Any particular favorite systems you had? Even well, if you didn't own any, any ones you like. Um, doesn't matter what generation it is? Of the older one. The oh, Atari for the older one, it has to be, of course it has to be the, the Atari. Atari was a good pick. Now, yeah. do you know the difference between the 2600 and the 50, uh, 5600 I believe it was? Supposedly, it has more better graphics than the other one, and it's much more bit. bigger, bulkier, and all that, I heard. A little bit. Yeah. But yeah, but so the 2800 So pretty much, you like the, uh, like, what well, any favorite games you like of the old Atari? Do you, did you play any? Really? Um, I actually played Kaboom. Okay. Kaboom is good. Frogger is good. Okay. Uh, Pac-Man is of course good. Pac-Man is not good on the Atari. You you I lie. Know. I know. Why would exactly. you lie? Exactly. <laughs> I'm saying, have you played Pitfall? Truthfully? Yes, I have. Pitfall it's, is, it's fun. Yeah. It's very fun. Yeah. Um. So for those who don't know, um, the Atari 2600 had a ton of arcade ports from that day. None of them were good, but some of them were their own Atari version. My personal favorite is Defender. Defender was always really pretty. Um, their version of Space Invader wasn't that bad, even though people hated it, and um, Pac-Man was horrible. <laughs> it, so, was, it was horrible. My favorite I had as a kid was uh, in television. Television actually had a lot of interesting games. The only thing I didn't like about it is that they had the controller that looked like a number pad. Yes. And had an overlay, and yeah. it was really bad, because as a kid, we didn't have the overlay. As a kid, we just had the games. Does the television have that little disc thing in the yeah. middle? Yeah. And it wasn't really, it just, nothing worked right. The, the control. But it was a fun system, though. It had a really good sound. As a kid, I remember um, playing this when I was really super little, and we had that before the NES. So, so then, speaking of NES, we go next generation, 8 big generation. We have the NES, and you got the Master System for Genesis. Those were the two big competitors. There was a couple other ones from um, Atari and stuff. No one really cared. So, do you have a particular favorite? Since I know you didn't own them, what was your particular favorite one, though? Uh, it has it has to be the NES because who course. doesn't like the Nintendo? Yeah, that's any particular favorite games on the NES one. Mmm, Legend of Zelda. Did you really play Legend of Zelda though? I'm saying, do, do you really think you would have enjoyed the original Legend of Zelda? It was boring, but I kind of liked it though because it was like you make up your own story or what you. Okay, it. no, I'm not trying to put you down. I'm just okay. I never beat Legend of Zelda on the NES. I still to this day have never beat it. No, nope. it is the most frustrating design of a choose your own dungeon adventure that there could be because I could never find all the dungeons. I found three of them. Yes, out same of here. Eight. Some here. Just saying. Well, I'm saying never beat it. Yeah. I, never, I had a cousin I was able to go right through and destroy it, but besides the fact. Uh, my favorite, of course, was the NES because NES is a god system. And <clears throat> believe it or not, I obsessed over uh, Super Mario Brothers 3. I, uh, before speed running was a thing, as a kid, I always tried to get to the end as fast as possible just to see if I could. Bowser was hell hanging me up though because I didn't know you can actually kill him with the fireballs. So I never had fireballs by mm -hmm. the time. Oh well. Alright, so we're going to go into a weird category of systems. So now we're going to do the 16 bit ones. But 16 bit ones can kind of branch off into a couple different systems released in the same era. So, yes. what favorite 16 bit system did you like? And this well, also includes Sega CD, this also includes Jaguar and all that. Well, I own the Super Nintendo, but I actually do enjoy the Sega Saturn. Sega Saturn. So, wait, wait. So, Super NES though. What system did you enjoy? But let's let's save it for Sega Saturn. We'll do that for the next batch. Yeah. What was your favorite game on the SNES though? From SNES, it has to be Street Fighter. Street Fighter. Oh, I love Street Fighter. Nice. Were you good at it? Um, I was mediocre, but I can still kick people's butt. I was a Genesis fan. Oh really? So I love Sonic. Um, those you don't know, incredibly poor growing up. So my family got Sega Genesis way after the fact. Um, and we only had like four games for it, and two games I. Kind of stole from my uncle. I feel bad, but fine. He eventually took him back. And uh, Sonic 2 was my favorite. Sonic 2, I destroyed. Sonic 2, I was obsessed with. Like I had no C type obsessed back in the day. I'm kidding. It wasn't that bad. But 
And uh, to me, that was really solid. Now, we're going to 30s misses. I used to take a Saturn for your 30s yes. right? Not PlayStation, not any of that? I haven't, I haven't owned a PlayStation 1. Ever? No, okay. never. Me? I own none of them. Oh, really? Yeah, I can't afford it. Oh. <laughs> I was jealous of the Sega Saturn, though. Oh. My friend had it. He had the uh, Knights game. Knights was magical when you were a kid. I I have that game <coughs> once, Knights into Dreams, yeah. and also Burning Ranger. Bur I never played Burning Ranger. Burning Ranger is fun. I gotta play it. It's fun. Good story arc, too. The, uh, what you call it game was fun, too, on the Demolition Derby. Yes, that's right. Actually, it actually had physics actually broke up, which was pretty cool. So, those consoles are now, we're talking about older consoles. These consoles now are like 20 some years old. Yeah. Car. Now let's go into the 64 bit era. Ooh. How many 64 bit consoles were there? Do you even know? Name a couple 64 bit consoles. Just name one 64 bit console. Atari Jaguar? <laughs> 64 bits. <laughs> I'm going to start this off saying N64. I love N64. That is my favorite 64-bit console. And the more I say the word 64-bit, it makes me realize there were really no other 64-bit consoles. No. Because, let's be fair, the N64 really didn't look that good compared to other 32-bit consoles, which I'm not going to admit. It was a good system. It's just they limit themselves with hardware and they limit themselves with a lot of factors. So I'm not, I love my N64. Though. I hug it every night. I go to bed with it. She gets mad. It beeps at me. My love you. But, um... <laughs> Um, what's your favorite? I mean, do you like N64? You don't have one, you've no one. Oh, I, have an, I don't have an N64, but I have um, a couple of them. Like, like um, I do enjoy like playing Conquer and all that. Oh, so you have been liking it. Okay. Now, we're going into the next generation. So you see, it's a lot of generations. We've been like, oh, flying yes. for these. Now we're going to get into like, the PlayStation 2 type, Ooh. Xbox type, Dreamcast type generation. Ooh. So. Which of those, if there's any other in that generation you like, but those are the main players, which yeah. ones did you love? I own two of them in the last generation. Which ones did you like, though? Which um, one's your favorite? Name your favorite. That's got to be a hard one. Pick your favorite. I have a Sega, uh, Sega Ge um, Dreamcast. Sega but, Genesis, really? No, sorry. I have a Sega Dreamcast, Dreamcast but okay. I enjoy mostly my uh, PS2. That is a fair thing to say. So, I love just as much as my N64 or my Dreamcast. And Dreamcast to me is, holds tight and dear. It does. It sucked though for anyone who actually wants to be a gamer because they only had so many good games. The unfortunate problem is that PlayStation 2, you know PlayStation 2 was still the top selling system, and I may be wrong about this, until PlayStation 4 I believe? Yes it did. They were still selling the console yes. like decades. After it's been discontinued, like the, the, the system is so strong. The the Xbox, though, for me, for the generation, is the one that sold. The original Xbox. The original Xbox. Xbox. I saved the money. I went to uh, Costco, I believe I bought it. I got the bundle. And I got the uh, first real game I got for it was the uh, Dead or Alive uh, 3, I believe, because of uh, boot physics, and I was a teenager. Um, <laughs> That's true. And my cousins played it, too, so... Um, so then we're going to go to the next one. So now we're kind of winding down to the last couple generations. Now we got the 360 PlayStation 3 era. Ooh. Oh, by the way, I didn't ask you. I'm so sorry. Favorite game from, uh, from your PlayStation 2 days? Well, this is, it's, a, it's, um, it's a game that not many people know. It's called yeah. Okage the Shadow King. Okay, it's good. You won't be able to guess mine. What? My favorite was the Ushima. Um, oh, really? Two, I believe. Re Not the one with the French guy in it. The one that had like the creepy like feudal Japan. Yeah, that one. Yeah. That had Fatal Frame. Fatal Frame. I don't right? like. I like Halo. I like my shooters. I like my game. But that I still have it downstairs. Yeah. Like I want to replay it sometime. So Ushima is a Resident Evil freaking samurai game, and I it's scary guys. Like that's a game you want to have like your like chills. That's a chill that I still get. They have a doll you can't kill. But I mean, you can kill it, yeah. but to haunt the dog, if you disturb it, it haunts you for the rest of the game. Another game that from PS2 that I like is um, Final Fantasy XII. A lot of people hated good. that. No, good. A lot of people like hated 12. the game. Yeah, people, people shit on it. I don't know. know. Okay, so we're going to get to games later on. I just want to do a quick overview of your favorite system. So, um, 360 or PlayStation 3? Because we're going to ignore the Wii. Because yeah. everyone had a okay, everyone had a Wii. If you didn't have a Wii, I'm sorry for your childhood. But everyone had I'm a Wii. sorry, yeah. Okay, Wii, out, Wii destroyed something. So between, 
You can do the Wii too if you want to. 360, PS3, or Wii? Your choice. Always in my heart, the 360. 360. I like 360 too. Mm -hmm. um, I love it PlayStation 3, don't get me wrong, but 360 actually had so much flavor to it. It has a lot of good get yeah. games to play. Oh, so a lot many. of good games. Uh, favorite game on the system? Off the top of your head? The Fable series. F Fable was good. Fable and Assassin's F Creed. Now, <laughs> I'm going to be a butthead and say what my favorite was and how it changed. Um, Halo was actually my favorite on it. Really? Online play, all the time. Oh, yeah. I got bored of it, uh, Mass Effect became my next favorite. The Mass Effect series I got lost in. I started playing the Mass Effect series, and yeah. it was good. Yeah, I, I got it. lost. I haven't finished it yet, guys. Look at that. I'm actually going to replay it. Uh, Michelle's been kind of taking over it, but um, yeah, it's a, it's a Is game it? that goes on. Yes. So, now we're near the end. This is the end of Generations. We are on the Xbox One yeah. and the PlayStation 4. Four. And don't forget the Switch. Let me, let me step back a little bit. You got the Xbox One, you got the PlayStation 4, you got the Wii U, <laughs> and Nintendo Switch. And then the Switch. But the Switch technically is the next generation. Oh, makes sense. Wanna make that clear. But we'll include the Switch, we'll include the Switch. Switch wins. So that's why I don't want to include the Switch. For me, the Switch wins. So let's put the Switch to the side for me. <laughs> Out of those, which one do you like? So you like the Wii U. Xbox One. I keep saying Wii U because I want you to pick it. But you know <laughs> Wii U. There's Xbox One and the PS4. <laughs> no one's ever gonna pick the Wii U. Poor Wii U. The Switch is just Wii U 2.0. It is. Um. So which one of those are your favorite? PS4. 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 Xbox One. Xbox One. Yeah. Yeah. Xbox One. Yeah. 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 I got Xbox One finally, popped it down, started installing some games. Had disc for the games. Had install time, like this kind of weird. Had some other games download, had install time, this kind of weird. Everything was just slow and install, and slow and install. And I mean, I'll be honest, Xbox is winning with Game Pass. If you guys don't have a Game Pass and you have an Xbox, buy a Game Pass. You get free gold membership and you get free games. Like, a, and on the PC. And on the PC. Mm -hmm. I can get all the games on my PC right now, so I have limitless games for 15 bucks a month. Cool. That sold me on that. But as far as interaction goes, PlayStation 4 wins for me. I have a PlayStation 4 Pro, though, so I mean, no, I'm joking. On top of that, PS4, you can have two separate accounts or multiple accounts. But Xbox, you don't. You can still separate them out. Oh, really? You it's do? just default logs. Oh. It's like 360. Yeah. Like, the, the Xbox oh. is really hardcore on the whole. Like This is your console, and that's yeah. it. They had the Connect idea behind it, so it yeah. can recognize you logging to your account by your vision. Ooh, that's interesting. But everyone thought that was creepy as hell. They said, we do not know, because the camera will follow you. Yeah. Yeah, it will literally, like, see movement, it'll go, and it'll, like, zone in on your face. Oh, I remember when, the first, when they first announced that. Yeah, they didn't like that. People hated that. Now we talk about the last current generation. Um, so this is the best, I mean, I love Switch. Switch wins for me for this one, but for the next generation, coming out the PlayStation 4 and the Xbox 3832. Um, not the official name, is what I heard it might be called. Um, <laughs> well, I have a poor PC. They need love too. We're not up to that yet. Because the PC is a forever console. It is. Yeah. If we had PC in any of these runs, PC would have always won. But I'll humor you. Favorite PC game? Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, it's going to be my childhood, childhood favorite game, Grim Fandango. Okay, Grim Fandango. Mine is StarCraft. StarCraft. I killed way too many nights on that. That one stuck me. Even now I might go, I go back to something and play the classic. Sorry, Overwatch. No, Overwatch is fun. Dota is fun. I mean, I have games I like currently on the PC, but, you know, it's just classics. I mean, yeah. you gotta go back how much time you put in the thing. Oh, yes. Now, I got a curveball for you. Did you ever do the arcades as a kid? Actual arcades. Yes, I have. And I love the arcade games, especially going the weekends. Okay. What was your favorite arcade game? Ooh. Any time period. Ooh, my Since favorite is... technically they stopped doing arcades by like the freaking 90s. I know. And it was like... My favorite one is a really good one. It's called Knights of the Round Table. That's a good game. That's really a good, good game. game. I waste a lot of quarters now. Oh, yeah. Time. And, um... But anyway, does your local place have it set to easy or hard, though? Because mine knows has to be hard, yeah. Yeah, I always lose. Got, I can never win. Got I, quartered away in with yeah. like three dollars, four dollars worth of coins. Though. I was crying at the end of the game when I pl when I play emulator. I oh, was, you actually would have beat it. Like, I was like, beat. I was like, oh my god, yes. I personally have always enjoyed the pinball machines, mm -hmm. but if we're talking about like actual game games. Um, any of the beat ups always sold it for me. So like the Simpsons was a classic. Yes. You have a, oh, I got one that's weird ball. I enjoyed the physical machine for Arctic, uh, I think it was Arctic Thunder. 
Really? It's a little snowboard, uh, no, I mean, a snowmobile yeah. racing one. It's off, of, I think it was Arctic Thunder and it was Hydro Thunder, whatever, same idea. Mm -hmm. The reason why I like this for the stupidest reason. Why? The seat shook, rumbled, pivot, and it had blowing vents. Oh, that's neat. To simulate the wind. There's another arcade game <laughs> called the Ninja Kids. It's imagine like these little puppets. I that don't, yeah, yeah. That was never in America, though. No. That was I, never in America. I you played an emulator. I already know you played an emulator. That's famous it was emulator. Fun. It was fun. Yeah. I, I know it's not arcade, but yeah. Yeah, it was Ninja, it was Ninja Kids and Ninja Mischief or something like that. Yeah, that was it's fun. Ninja Kid, yeah. But I don't know. But. That's pretty much it. Oh, let's do the last one. Um, handhelds. Favorite handheld. Ooh. Out of all. Of course, it has to be the Game Boy. Oh, mine's a Virtual Boy. Virtual Boy? Hey, tape it to your head. <laughs> walk around. You didn't do that? No, I, cool I never kid. had one. I was the cool kid with that. <laughs> no, favorite handheld um, classics would be um, DS. DS? I love DS? my DS. I love 3DS is my favorite. 3DS is good. Remember, I mean, we can say the Switch, but the Switch is... I know, I know. The Switch Lite's my favorite portable console. Now, there's another one that's my favorite. Is that, you know the Sega Dreamcast that had the little memory card and you could take it around and play as... Yeah, but the VMU killed everything. That's the that. thing. Anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching. Um, why don't you guys comment below your favorite anything. I mean, just be honest. We all have our favorite console. What's your top favorite? Now, my top favorite of all consoles is going to be the N64. That's in my heart. What's your top favorite of Ooh, all? It's always got to be the PS2. So PS2. And you guys comment below with your favorite uh, console of all time and so name down a couple games. Um, we're just doing a couple reviews throughout randomly and maybe I'll just review one. Just why not? Let's talk about it. Other than that, guys, leave a like, subscribe, and uh, tell me what you think. Uh, up thumbs up, thumbs down. I'm comfortable. Just want to know what you guys think about what this content is. Until then, though, guys, have a great day. Have a great night. And you guys take care. Bye.